Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. <clears throat> this is a Zodiac reading for August 2022. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful, or handsome, and you are kind. These readings will always resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Someone might be enlightened by them. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone to this channel. I greatly appreciate you. <clears throat> All right. So I found the cup, of course. And um, we're just going to pull. We're getting down low here. What's this? All right. So we're going to do Capricorn, okay? Capricorn is next. Um, I have to kind of, like lean over so I can see where this is going because I can't see the camera when I'm doing when I'm sitting upright and trying to do the reading so hopefully you guys can see that <clears throat> all right so these are pre-shuffled but we're going to go ahead and shuffle three extra times just so we can get the intention on the cards this is the Wonderland Tarot for Capricorn for August 2022 for Capricorn August 2022 Capricorn, August 2022. Capricorn, August 2022. Capricorn, August 2022. All right, I'm ready. All right. <clears throat> what kind of energies do we have floating around for Capricorn for August 2022? Wow, that was quick. Right, that was quick. Let's see. So we got two cards. This is the one we'll take. Oh, shit. <laughs> four of pepper mills, which is the four of wands. So there might be some sort of soulmate situation going on here. Some sort of soulmate situation. I don't know what type, but that's what this is indicating. Or celebration of some sort of coming together of a group or family or just something like that right this is good vibe feeling though this is happy and you know this type of thing okay at least right the four of uh wands or the four of clubs is a, a card of leo so you could have leo in your chart or maybe you're dealing with somebody who has leo in their chart <clears throat> this is what came along with it the eight of swords Oh, shoot. That j just changes everything, doesn't it? So basically, somebody is feeling trapped in a soulmate situation. This could be a situation that you learn a lesson from a soulmate, but it's not a good lesson. It's like a, a harsh lesson, right? Like a, you got with someone and uh, turned out not to be exactly what you wanted and and now you feel trapped it's like that mm -hmm. so you may feel trapped uh in a situation uh that you can't get out of you know and it has to do with the soulmate energy all right listen we all have free will you can do whatever you want if you're feeling trapped that's because you're making yourself feel trapped there is some like it is, is your happiness or your 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 heart and your men mental state, is it worth staying and being tormented in this? You know, oh, well, maybe you have money tied to people. Let that shit go. Trust. You can make more. Just start over somewhere else. Especially if you're feeling trapped. Look. Look how she looks. She's like, ah, help. You know? So somebody here is feeling trapped in a, in a situation. It looks good, though. I don't know. It looks good to me, but somebody obviously is feeling, well, maybe, maybe it is good, right? Maybe it is good, but it's not really where your heart is. That could be it, too. 
okay and, and you're feeling trapped and and maybe you're feeling trapped because because possibly what if the person you're with they're a very nice person and 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 you 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 know you do care for them but you don't want to you know that could be the case too for somebody you know you might be in a soulmate relationship and maybe it's not all that it's cracked up to be for you but the person is nice and you care about the person but it's not where your heart is but you already got involved and now you feel trapped it could be that okay <clears throat> could be you know um now another thing i'm getting that for sure this is not gonna resonate with everybody but you know it might resonate for somebody you also uh could have gone into some sort of soulmate situation uh, somehow and, and and it landed you in the in the slammer you know because of something that happened it could have been that something like that too you know that's hopefully that's not for anybody but uh, I'm just saying that this could have happened or you could have been, uh, you know, I don't know. I kind of don't feel like that's for too many. I kind of feel that somebody here is uh, in a situation. Uh, it could be they're feeling trapped. Uh, but the person that they're feeling trapped, I mean, it's, it's not like it's a bad place they're at, you know, but that's not where their heart is, you know. So... We'll just go ahead and move on from that. I'll just stick this in the middle somewhere. All right. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. Oh, at the bottom of the deck, look. Unable to make any kind of moves or anything. Tr feeling stuck. Mm-hmm. So there's a Capricorn out there that's feeling stuck in a soulmate, you know, situation. Uh, it might not be all that bad, but I don't think that's where your heart is. That's what I'm getting. I don't know. Let's just keep going. What is Capricorn dealing with for August 2022 with this soulmate? What is Capricorn dealing with in August 2022? What is this? Judgment in reverse. So you're not making any moves. You're not taking any action. You're not even thinking about something. I don't know. You're not, you know, you're not making judgment on this right now. So, so you may not know why you're feeling unhappy. You know, you might be feeling a certain way, like because you live in a nice spot and you're all right with it, but you're not, you're just not happy. So you're not really, you know, you're not really thinking about that too much. You're just maybe just living the life or your life or I don't know. You're just like getting up in the morning, going to work, doing whatever, you know, do it all day, then come home, have dinner, go to bed and tomorrow get up and do it again. And you know, it's maybe it's just like that. So this is why you haven't really given it too much thought. You might be too busy uh, to even get half time to think about it. You know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, you're not really thinking about... You might be just focused on your money because, you know, Capricorn and all. You might as well but just be focused on your finances and your stability. Uh, but because that other card came out previous... And so you're not really going to make judgment on the situation, even though you might be feeling trapped. You could be also feeling trapped in uh, a job. That could be something, too. You could be feeling trapped in a job, and you're just not going to place judgment on it because, you know, maybe it pays well, and you're just like, oh, fuck it, I'll just stay here, whatever, right? You can be like that, too. But once again, we still have the hangman at the bottom of the deck. So you're, you are feeling stuck. So this could be uh, a relationship. It could be... This could even be a family situation. I mean, you don't even have to be married or with anybody. This could be like involvement with your family, issues going on, things like that, you know. So it just really all depends. But you're not really going to, during the month of August, you're not going to really focus on this too much. Uh, you're not going to put any effort. I don't know. Well, what's the outcome of, of this for... Um, Capricorn well, in regards to these two cards right for August 2022 okay what's that well oh yeah see so you're just you're kind of 
Well, it was kind of in the reverse. You're not going to juggle this, whatever this is. You're not going to, it's like you're not going to deal with it right now. Not in August, anyways, whatever this is. You're not going to, you're not going to fuck with it, right? <clears throat> yeah. It be, because you're not ready to think about it yet. You're not, maybe you just don't have the signs that you need yet. You don't know which direction. You don't know how to go about doing something. Um, but you're not going to, you're not going to uh, stress out yourself though. You're totally not going to, woof. There's some fucking wild freaking, <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that buzzing around. Uh, sheesh. Don't bother them and they don't bother you. <laughs> Anyways. Um, I don't feel like you want to entertain this or deal with this or juggle this and what you got going on right now. Right? But we do know that you're feeling stuck and you're, you're, you're feeling trapped. But you're not really, not in August, you're not going to be dealing with this, I don't think. Right? You don't want to think about it, kind of. Right? Mm-mm. You're not ready to put that much thinking effort into whatever this is. <clears throat> you see that guy? The emperor. So, mate, you could be working on yourself because we don't know, you know, we don't know how this is really. Could be working on yourself. Be, and, and you're, you could be working on yourself and not really paying attention to what this is that you're feeling that you need need to place judgment on that you don't want to juggle right now. You know, we, we don't know. We don't know this for sure, right? Because if you're the emp if you're trying to become the emperor, you know, that takes work on yourself, right? You don't want to juggle this idea yet because you might be going through some personal self healing. You don't want to think about it. So, you know, maybe, look, look at how this cat is. Maybe, look at the cat's out in nature. Maybe you're going to go out in nature and just uh, heal some whatever. I don't know. <laughs> right? Because something threw you for a loop, and I think it's this soulmate situation. It could be. And now you're trying to figure out what the heck is this? Right? Finally try, starting to think about it, right? Maybe before you weren't you know, juggling the idea, but now you are. What can be an obstacle or advice here, right? I don't know. An obstacle or advice for Capricorn? Should I just take that? I guess I will. Oh, shit. <laughs> So this is the obstacle. So whatever it is that you're dealing with, uh, there's a love situation also here that's involved, right? So like I said, you guys, you could be, um, you could be thinking about a love situation and still be involved, but be, be involved somewhere else. And this is an obstacle for you because, you know, right now, you can't think about this. That's why it's the obstacle. You can't juggle this right now. You can't place any judgment. Because you're doing something right now or maybe you or someone else here, though, has other suitors, though. Like one person has a bunch of people that they're probably, like, dating or looking. I don't know, man. Some kind of shit like that. Maybe that's why um, it's an obstacle for you to give this cup to this person because this person is, look, she's looking like you're going to give me that cup, but look, there's a, there's another, well, hat. The cups are hats in this deck. So you see that rat trying to give that hat to, to you know, Alice, but she's looking up at that freaking hat on the pedestal. Who does that go to then? And whose are all these down here? You know, so she, I don't know. She, she's not, uh, and, and I don't usually think this kind of thing. I usually think uh, reminiscing, blah, blah, blah. But not, not in this time. Now I'm thinking somebody's trying to offer you something, but they already have someone else on a pedestal. So 
I don't know. And that's the obstacle. The obstacle is for them to come and bring you, or somebody's obstacle is to bring a hat to somebody. But you know what? If somebody is doing that, I don't suggest you take it, especially if they got someone else on the side. And, and they're high. No, I feel like somebody might be approaching you who, or, or this is you doing it. Or this is you. Or you're the one that's going to come and offer some shit to someone and you got all side chicks or side dudes. That's fucked up. If it is. Or you're married already or dating someone. Oh, shit. You may be... F Somebody here is married already. It, it doesn't have to be you. It could be the other, you know, who's going to come and offer. That's some bullshit. I'm just saying. Somebody's trying to offer somebody... Uh, something, somebody from their past who they've been reminiscing about. Uh, the obstacle here is that they want to offer somebody from the past who they're thinking about a cup of love. But they already have some freaking body already. Eh. Lame. Anyways, we'll keep going. That's a final card. Damn. Two of Cups. But this is a good deck because this, I, this deck was chosen for a reason. All right. So somebody wants to offer a couple of love to somebody that they have possibly, you know, uh, offered their love to in the past. This is bullshit, right? Look at her. She's like, fuck no. <laughs> I mean, that's how she looks, you know, because the, the two of cups represents two people sharing emotions and all that shit, right? <clears throat> but I have a feeling that somebody from someone's past who, 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 you know, did someone wrong or juggled them or did some shit. I don't know. Maybe trying to offer some love somewhere. But this chick's like, fuck no. Because she remembers. Because she knows what, you know. So this is somebody that you substantially dated, you know, for, you know, months. Or, or maybe you were married to them. Or some shit like that, right? But you had a substantial relationship together, right? A romantic relationship. So, um, basically, uh, something went wrong. And y'all separated. And I, it might have been the male that did something here. Uh, it doesn't have to be. It could be vice versa. But, um, according to the picture that you're looking at right now, anyways. Um, but um, it could, still could be vice versa. And, um, so now this person may be wanting to come back and offer love and all this shit. And then all of a sudden the girl's like, what? Ew, hell nah. You know, because, I mean, really, you know, I, I don't, you know, if somebody deceived you in the past, you know, even if so many years go by and, um, it's still deception, man. It's still deception. And you know what? We all know better. I did some fucked up stuff in the past too, but I I knew I was doing it. It's not, I'm not gonna be like, oh, I didn't know better. No, I knew better. I knew, but I did it anyways, right? At least I can admit that to that, you know. And trust that I got the karma for it too. So basically, somebody is trying to offer something new to someone. And I think that someone is going to be like, fuck no, because that person who's trying to make that love offer may have done something wrong in the past. And who wants somebody from the past, especially if they fucking deceived you or did you wrong or abused you or what? No, I'm not down. And you shouldn't either be down, Capricorn. Not for that. I'll give you an example. And it's a fucked up example. But I'm a victim of it, all right? So I can talk about it. It's kind of like a person molesting a child. And then co coming back 10 years later, oh, I'm not like that anymore. How do you feel about that? I'm just saying, that's a fucked up example too. But I'm a victim also. Do you think I would allow any of those people who did that to me to come? Fuck no. So it doesn't even matter, though, what the deception is. It really doesn't. Because deception is deception. I just used a really extreme example. Okay? Just to, like, you know, trigger you or something. Right? <clears throat> so it looks like, let's bring it all together now. Let's do a recap. All right, let me see. 
I had a fly on my foot. I didn't mean to be all, you know, err, you know. So we're going to do a quick recap on this. So it looks like you have a soulmate situation here that you don't want to work on or think about or place judgment on or do deal with or anything. Why? Because, you know, you know that this person might know that you have others, right? This might have been the issue in the past. You may have cheated on this person or lied to this person and been in a relationship and just fucked them over and did whatever, whatever. And now somebody wants to come back and offer their cup of love. But I feel like someone's going to be like, fuck no, <laughs> basically. Somebody who's found out their self-worth, who realizes what they want in life. They don't want to be with someone who, you know, deceived them before. Whether they healed or not, who cares? You know what I'm saying? I gave you an example. Deception is deception. It don't matter what the situation is. If somebody shed a tear, trust. I don't want that. If whoever sheds that tear, they don't want that person back, right? I, I wouldn't. If I had to shed a tear for anybody for hurting me, I don't want them back. Because that's not how life is. We're not supposed to hurt each other, but we do it. We do it anyways. Instead of helping each other, we hurt each other. That's fucked up, right? I don't do that here, though. I'm trying to help, right? That's why I don't take from you people. I used to think I was supposed to, but no, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to take from, from people I want to help, so, you know. <clears throat> Anyways. There that shit is again. You see that shit? The Hierophant. Higher level of commitment. And, and like I said, you know, this person, because we have the Two of Cups there, that we, you know, just remember, we still, you know, you still, the outcome is sharing emotions. But somebody might be grumpy and mad. But somebody might... Somebody might even be, be be married. Just watch out for that. Somebody here is married or they're coming to offer a higher level of commitment. But just know that they're you're not number one. Somebody else is. I have a feeling. You're not number one. I'm talking romantically, right? Not like, you know, number one, of course, if you're a parent and you have children, that's number one, right? Depending on the position you're in and what mental state you're in, you know, that should be your number one priority, right? Is your children. But, uh, you know, we're not talking about that. We're talking about like relationshipy stuff, romantic, right? They're coming to offer something, but they don't see you as that number one. This could be a situation, mama's boy. Yeah? That somebody come and offering something to somebody, but they're always mama's number one. Like, they will not cut that umbilical cord. And mama could be, you know, a bitch. Who knows? It could also be that the person doesn't want to be with this person offering love because of that. Mm -hmm. Because there's, they're still attached by the umbilical cord <laughs> or something, you know. So, and ain't nobody want to be around no mothers or father-in-laws who are assholes or bitches. Hell no, man. I wouldn't, I don't think I would even want to marry ever anybody who I didn't get along with their parents hell no I'm not gonna live my life miserable like that no way if I don't get along with with their parents I don't even want to hang out with you know with them you know my parents aren't the greatest so I, I don't even hang out with them you know what I'm saying so you know what I mean so I don't know you know this is a trippy this was a trippy kind of reading uh, you know but um, there is a higher level of commitment coming or somebody's going to offer that. But, you know, like I said before, um, somebody may not offer it. Somebody may, you know, may offer it like, oh, let's try to, but somebody might be like, nah, I don't want it with you. 
Why? Because maybe I want that higher level of commitment for myself, right? That could be it too. All right. <clears throat> so Capricorn, uh, if it resonated, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Also, keep it true love energy. Happy, friendly, loving types. We have nothing to fear as long as we stay calm and cheerful. I'm Mona, this is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.